In this video, we're gonna make a Kexan Chipotle steak with roasted courgette, red onion, tomato, and potato salad. Super quick, we're gonna do it all in the air fryer, and it's probably gonna take about 15, 20 minutes. The portion I'm gonna be making here is enough for two, so what I'll do is I'll write all the macros and everything you need for one portion just down below. So we've got everything prepped already. We've got the red onions, we've got the courgette, we've got the potatoes, which are cubed up, all roughly about the same size, so they cook evenly. We've got the rocket, we've got the tomatoes, and we've got the steak. So let's get into it. And what we wanna do is try and work in order what's gonna take the longest to cook. So it's gonna be the potatoes. And what we're just gonna do is parboil these. So make sure your kettle's boiled before you start. Cover these in water. They're gonna take about 10 minutes on the stove, and then we're gonna whack them into the air fryer. Get them nice and crispy. Something like this you can have pre-done, you can have pre-parboiled potatoes and just keep them in the fridge so anytime you want to do crispy potatoes you can just stick them straight in the air fryer. A um, bit of a chef trick, it will save you a bit of time. Whilst the potatoes are boiling we're just going to season the steak. So I've got this smoky chipotle seasoning from Aldi, it's like a quid. Pretty bloody tasty. And then we're just going to sprinkle a bit on a plate. And then we're just going to chuck the steaks on. Chuck it all over the shop. Sprinkle a bit more on. Kind of rub it in a bit. Then we're going to turn the air fryer on. We're going to cook these first. Then we're going to allow them to rest. So when you cook a piece of meat, it shrinks and tightens up like a muscle. So what you want to do is let it rest roughly about the same amount of time it cooks. That way all the juices and all the sort of moisture goes back out into it. So if you cut a steak after just cooking, it's going to piss out loads of sort of like myoglobin, um, like the protein that comes out, the red stuff. Um, but if you let it rest, it's going to be much tastier, much nicer to eat, and just nicer, like I said. And with the steaks in the air fryer, I'm just going to have about 200 degrees, and I'm going to cook for about five minutes. Um, once it gets about two and a half minutes in, I'm just going to flip them, like you would in a pan. I think the air fryer just gives it a really nice, intense, hot heat, and it keeps in a lot of moisture, so I've been cooking all my steaks in the air fryer now. It just means you don't get the smoky pans either, so recommend. Another quick tip, having everything prepped like this will save you plenty of time later when you're cooking because you can just chuck it all straight into the pan or into the air fryer. So spend five minutes before you start doing anything, get your kettle boiled, get everything chopped up, get everything weighed. It's just going to save you a lot of time in the long run. So if you're meal prepping and you're doing loads of these, just spend that bit of time doing the processes, get it all done, weighed out first, and then you can just do it, bang, 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 bang. You've got lots of different recipes done at once. So I'll probably go over lots of different meal prep recipes and ways you can do it quickly and effectively. So the last thing you want to do is after you finish work, spend hours prepping. You want to get it done quickly and effectively, or you'll end up just eating chicken, ketchup, and rice. So I've just hit them with a little bit of one cal spray, then we're going to chuck them straight into the air fryer. And we're going to go for about two and a half minutes either side, get a nice sort of medium rare to medium pink steak. Thin. Right. The thin one's definitely done. That one's got quite a lot of, um, yeah, still quite squishy. So we're just gonna leave that in for maybe another sort of three or four minutes. But because that one is very thin, you can see that one is done already. So we're gonna turn that one up to rest. The other one's gonna have a bit longer. Potatoes are done, they've had 10 minutes. There's a little bit of resistance in there, but you can see they're nicely cooked. You can eat them right now if you wanted to but this is perfect for what we need. We're just gonna drain them now, and then stick them in the air fryer. Right. Decent amount of salt. Couple of sprays. I'm just gonna give that a bit of a mix around, and stick that straight in the air fryer. Once the potatoes have had a bit of time, about sort of five, six minutes in there. Feel crispy there looking. We're gonna chuck in the courgettes and the red onions. Give them a mix around. Once they've had about another five minutes, we're gonna chuck in the cherry tomatoes for a couple of minutes at the end, just to soften, and that's the last bit. It's all cooking along nicely. Chuck in the cherry tomatoes. The last few minutes and we're basically pretty much done. So that's the goal, blistered tomatoes, crispy potatoes, and everything else just nicely roasted. Put it all in a bowl so we can mix it, a bit more seasoning. As we're all training quite a lot, the salt is imperative. 
and under seasoned food just isn't nice. A little bit of balsamic vinegar. Some engine of olive oil. And then I'm just gonna toss that all together. Throw in half the rocket. That's it, then we're going to cut the steak, arrange it on a plate, and then I'll show you the end product. So that's it, that's the end product. We've got the steak with some of the juices poured over it, we've got the roasted potato, courgette, red onion and cherry tomato salad with a little bit of rocket. Super simple, really quick. It did take a little bit longer than I said in the beginning, probably more like half an hour as opposed to 15. I think I was a bit ambitious in the beginning, but yeah, nice.